today. Hi, Jay. Uh, hey, Donna, like you said, a lot to get to, but you mentioned testing there. It was another significant day of testing here in the state of Arkansas. Again, as the governor is really trying to push testing in the month of May to get 2% of the population by the end of the month. That's a 60,000 number. But today, though, 2,355 test results came back from the past 24 hours and only at a 2.1 positivity rate. Now, the governor laid out some ideas for the state to increase those numbers without really going out of the way to achieve that goal. ADH local health units will now start testing. Expecting mothers will now begin to be tested. This is something UAMS already has in place. ADH Minority Health Commission will now have a mobile lab going into specific areas, and that is also coupling with the UAMS's mobile lab unit as well. And the Abbott point of care machines now have greater supply numbers, so those tests that need to have results within hours instead of days will now be in greater number. Obviously, a lot of this depends on people needing the test and actually going and getting it done. And of course, this depends upon people who have the symptoms going in and uh, getting their test, and it uh, should be a much smoother process uh, during uh, this month. We'd like to see testing continue to roll out uh, to where we know who's positive, who's negative, who's exposed, who's not exposed, because that's the best way for us to control this outbreak. Again, it's not so much the numbers, it's how we use our testing capacity that's important. What we want to do is identify those who are infected. We want to stop the spread of COVID-19 and ultimately we want to save lives. Also, officials expanding slightly on what will be required of casinos to begin operation. There's a directive that is similar to what the indoor venue directive looks like, but casinos will have to submit a plan of operation and it will have to be approved by the Department of Health in order for them to reopen. Dr. Nate Smith saying that there are a lot of different factors when it comes to casinos, so it really wasn't prudent to fit them in generally with all of the indoor facilities. Those plans will be made public, but expect to see cleaning protocols, how certain games will be spaced out and operated, and what the handling of game pieces will look like, such as cards and chips. Dr. Smith saying that each casino will have different plans for its facilities, hence why they are taking this route with that specific industry. And Donna mentioned the summertime fun announcement. Today it was announced that splash pads, swimming pools, beaches, and water parks will begin operation on May 22nd. And aside from some of these common guidelines that we've seen uh, across the board here, uh, they will be operating at half capacity. pH levels must be tested twice daily, and lifeguard training can actually begin immediately. And also of note, elective surgeries now being expanded. Before, it just had to be an outpatient surgery, and now some of those more complicated procedures, they will now allow for a 48-hour overnight hospital visit. So, again, a lot coming from today's update. But for now, from the state capitol, Jay Burt, Fox 16 News.